What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Rainy Mean, and welcome to another episode of Bootleg Central. That series where we take a look at some of the world's finest bootleg consoles on a quest to find something truly awesome or complete and utter shit. If you're unfamiliar with this series, I find these bootleg consoles from all over the place, whether it's online or out in the wild. We open them up, check them out, and see if they actually work, and if they're worth the money we put into them. And you know it's never that much money at all because I try to get away with as much awesome gaming as I can for the cheapest price possible. This is a special episode because this bootleg that you're about to see comes from a very awesome subscriber. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the original new edition power player. Your eyes do not deceive you. We got an N64 controller, Sega Genesis controller, and a gun. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so just like always, we're going to check this box out, open it up, see what it comes with before we actually go into the game room and try this thing out. So yeah, you're you're not seeing things. There is three different types of controllers. One is like a Glock. Oh my goodness, I have no idea uh, what we're getting ourselves into. But this is the original new edition. Tell me if that statement doesn't seem like a contradiction to yourself. Uh, the power player, the cover art is definitely loud and bold. Um, I have never seen this thing before. Like a lot of my bootlegs, I've never even seen them. For ages three and up, it does have a model number like XA-76-1E, super joystick and power gun. Uh, we are you, I mean, that's not that super. Uh, oh goodness, we're in for a treat. Star Wars characters on the front definitely show off the capability and the power we're about to uh, check out here. We turn it over on the back and we are greeted by <laughs> A picture for like a like it's that's like an ad you would see in a magazine for that vehicle. Uh, we got a, <laughs> oh my goodness I don't even know I don't even know where to begin with this thing. Obviously it's made in China. If it wasn't I'd be questioning like everything that had to do with reality. Uh, look at this picture right here of this baby who's not happy about it because he doesn't get to play with it. Uh, insert four AA size batteries not included. They never are but that's okay. We're gonna open them up. I always got batteries on hand. This thing had some different colors. I kind of like the color. I like the black on it. Apparently it can have green and blue and whatnot. And I like the gun. Actually, it looks like a damn gun. Uh, except for the orange tip, of course. Let's open this thing up. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I can't. apparently you can get gray, blue, and black. We got the black. That's awesome. I love my bootlegs. This thing could be cool. I had one bootleg that had the similar N64 controller, and it actually kind of worked. I, it was like a like a light gun within itself. All right, let's see here if I can open this up. Oh God, there it is. All right, things are falling, but that's okay. Box. Oh my goodness, things are falling. All right. Let's see. He said that he got this, I think, from like a Goodwill or a thrift store. Uh, he hit me up and said, "Do you want this?" And we ended up trade. I traded him like a Dreamcast game for this. Uh, nothing crazy, but. That is an extremely heavy power pack that it actually comes with. How old is this damn thing? I didn't even look. Uh, let's see if I can see a date. Will it give it away? Maybe this thing's from the future. Oh my god. There's no date on it, but that power pack screams damn 1993. Uh, but I highly doubt this thing's that old. Uh, let's see, we got the AV cable with the uh, standard plug in there. Let's, oh my lord, that, that is just huge. Dual power plug. Did did he supply that or did that come with? That seems like it's the size that would fit right there. Alright, let's pull this gun out first thing. Alright, so this is the controller. It's got a little plug that you see with a lot of these bootlegs. Where's the main system? Is it the, oh my god. That's it right there. That is heavy. And now, oh, that gets in the way. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Does that even, does that even move? God. <clears throat> I don't know if that's broke or what. The di I mean, this is, oh, good God, that's ugly. All right. <laughs> All right, look at, look at the controller and just notice the C buttons. Not only are they, they're not even even. They're, everything is <sighs> terrible. This is, you got two B's and two A buttons. No trigger, we just got an on and off, and then there's the A. This is just atrocious. 
the batteries go in this thing like I've had one similar but that dead does not work that I hope is not going to infract on it that thing is I, I highly I wonder if it's just for show you know some some tells me that's for show because if you look down in there there's nothing there's like some it's like a square bit into a square hole that's crazy uh, oh my goodness all right D-pad is the only thing that feels decent on it. Everything else looks like something out of a Picasso fan. This is just ugly and stupid. Uh, oh my goodness, the Super Joy. All right, that's, I guess that's the main console. You know, you know, I picked up a lot that had some game, that had this one game, it was the Power, I don't know if it was the same bootleg style game. If I can find that when we go into the game room, we'll see if that actually fits this. I don't know if it does or not, but we'll check it. All right, the Sega Genesis knockoff controller here. A little bit of fray action, but that's what plugs in. Now, that's a lot better, uh, but it's still awful. Look how deep that that goes in. Like your hand is like literally rubbing up on this mountain right here. It's that's horrible. Um, again, two A's, two B's, two C's. Start button. Obviously, they're trying to rip off a Sega Genesis controller. They just did a ass of a job. Now it does have the same controller port as one, so we might try that and see if that actually works. And then finally. We got the gun here, which, believe it or not, feels pretty... I don't know a damn thing about guns. I don't even know if this thing's modeled after a Glock. Could be, for all I know. I have no idea. Uh, but that feels like it, like it, like like it's supposed to fit right there. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. I don't know how well that's going to work. Got a good click action. Like, I've always hated that about the Master S System gun. It doesn't have a click to it. Uh, but that does. There's no manual. That's okay. We're going to have to take this in there. I don't know if this thing works. I can't remember if he said he tested it or not. We got some more AV cables, which is good. What is this plug into? If that's AV to AV and you got a DC, I don't know what that other other bit's for since we don't have a manual. This thing right here, see that's typical for plug and plays that plugs into the system and then you got the AV outs, but this just has two AVs. Hmm. I guess we're gonna find out and hopefully this thing works. So let's head to the game room, check it out. Alright guys, so we got this thing set up. Uh, luckily it did have the power pack because I didn't want, this thing was a pain to try to get out to actually check if it had the batteries to put batteries in it. But we do got that power pack plugged into the wall. We got the AV cables going straight into it. We got our Glock and our Sega Genesis ripoff controller. It's time to try this thing out. So the moment of truth, this thing just feels absolutely atrocious. Though I gotta say, like this thing is bulky big like your finger the way it sits but since that's a fake joystick it doesn't matter uh but it just it is not a comfortable controller <laughs> all right good flicker there uh let's try that again i just want to see that nice i don't know if that's like part of its like intro it says fun time i don't these things they, they their names never are consistent so super joystick tv game super joy uh, right off the gate, I'm just seeing a bunch of ROMs, uh, NES ROMs. Um, this this is going to be basic. How many how many is it claiming to have? Can we go backwards? All right. So this thing comes equipped with 76,000 games. That seems legit. Uh, the first game being Contra here, then Aladdin three, <laughs> Tekken. What? All right. Let's start with Contra and see how that one goes. This controller is just too damn stupid. Uh, there it is. Sounds pretty good though. I'm not. I'm not hating that. Uh, will the code work? I didn't hear it, so no. It just says rest thirty. Maybe I got it backwards. Maybe the buttons are backwards. Uh, wait a second. What's going on here? This is the final stage of Contra. Yeah, the buttons are backwards. That's stupid. I hate that shit when they do things like that. Uh, it plays plays pretty well actually. One thing I am noticing is there's lines. All throughout it that's not that's not bad it, it's actually like the right speed and it's got a reset button on here which is pretty cool you don't have to keep turning it off and on uh, let's see let's see what Aladdin 3 is about what is this see look at the lines it's real apparent right there uh, but as far as the ROM rip it doesn't seem bad what is this shit I've never heard of it, it just starts right into the game I've never heard of Aladdin 3 I don't know if this is some some like I don't know Famicom game or something all right enough of that crap the joystick as predicted is completely fake as shit and it just feels and looks terrible that's <laughs> I don't even know why I mean it's called the super joystick are you kidding me 
Oh my god. All right. Let's see what what, what Tekken we got on this 8-bit unit here. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god. We'll have to hit the reset button. I don't know what happened there. The buttons are terrible. Presents. What presents? What is this black screen presents a whole bunch of bullshit? What? What is this? Is this Prince of Persia? It said Tekken now. Oh, I remember this game. I have no idea how to play it. Someone's going to come out and knock the hell out of me. Wait a second. Yeah, let me... I don't know what this game is. It's, I think it may be like a Famicom game. Knock him! I can hit his ass, man. All you're doing is... There we go. Kick him. This is stupid. I've never heard or seen this game. Uh, and the sound of it is absolutely god-awful. Uh, I, I'm not doing anything right. The D-pad is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. It's like the best feature of this whole system. Alright. That was stupid. Enough of that. <laughs> Fun time. That's guaranteed what you're going to have playing this. Tetris 2. Super Mario. Let's see. Every Mario that I have played on a bootleg when it's the Super Mario Bros. It's usually sped up and it's just a shitty port of it. Let's see if this one's any different. I don't know what SWK is or Q is. Let's hear it. I got it kind of turned down. Oh, it sounds terrible, though. Those lines are very annoying. Uh, but this is actually a decent port. It's not sped up or anything. Oh, wait. The buttons aren't backwards. They're just in a shitty location. Oh, and these are... Th well, one of them's a turbo. The B button... Oh, wait, no, the B button, yeah, all right, they're both turbo, so that's all right, I guess. You see that commonly with bootlegs. Uh, buttons are in a decent location, except it's, you gotta, like, tilt your hand that way. It's kind of dumb as hell. Uh, but this ain't playing terrible. Let's see here. Damn it, yeah, fuck. Mario, you bastard. I always like to test the ROM, make sure everything's loading in right. That seems to be working, all right, let's see, what do we... Let's try a few more games and then see if we can find a light gun game, which I'm imagining what this is for. This is all just NES ROMs. Um, I don't see anything like crazy special yet. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to find a, um, a light gun ROM. I'd absolutely love to be able to play that. Let's see here. Combat, baseball, urban. Milk and Nuts. I've never heard of anything like that. we got to check it out. Milk, Nuts and Milk. All right, they got it backwards. Maybe this is a Famicom game I've never heard about. There's many of them. People are always like, dude, that's a Famicom game. Like eight people know about that. How do you not? Uh, all right. I don't know what's happening. Already I'm pissed off by it. All right, I'm this, like, Kirby-looking thing. Oh, I guess I'm running? Oh, I didn't like All right, that's enough of that. Uh, we're going to have to try to find a, we're gonna have to try to find a, um, a light gun game here. All right, let's see here. I'm not seeing any helicopter. I'm trying to remember all the light guns. There's like shooting gallery, obviously duck hunt. What is golf er? E E R clue clue land. What is that? Clay shooting. I guess that would have to be what that is. So let's plug this. Maybe it's the clay shooting off of duck hunt. And it'll act like this is, there we go, a two-player. That's what you got to do with an NES. You know, you got to put it in a two-player slot. Let's see. Yeah, it's just clay shooting from, let's see if it works, though. Oh, my God. Something tells me it might not work. We're going to find out. I love this gun, though, man. Oh, wait a second. We're not working. Gun and two number two joysticks. That's what it says. Let's see here. Try it again. Oh, any short or anything? Or is it just broken? Not working. Well, that's a shame. Uh, oh, wait. Ha! You can't make that up, guys. I actually had the Sega Genesis cord plugged in. What an idiot. All right, let's try this again and see if we get any better results using the actual cord. All right, let's see here. Come on now. I understand this. I love that gun. This thing's... Oh, look, it did work, because, that yeah, that shot worked. Let's see if it's accurate. Hey, 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 guys, that's not bad, actually. It's got a click, just like the, uh, the NES Zapper. 
and it's pretty damn accurate. That's cool. That feels awesome. Like, if you could use this thing, that is the best feature of this whole unit right there. Very cool. Look at that, boy. You don't mess around with something like this. Uh, you take that cap off right there, you could definitely damn cause some havoc. I wouldn't recommend it, though. But that thing is very nice, man. I'm very surprised by the quality of that. Listen to that click. That's that's satisfying. Very cool. That thing's giving this thing major points. You go ahead and just, you know, leave a comment and be like, damn, he's good as shit at that. Uh, but in reality, I'm like a foot away, so if I'm missing, I'm an idiot. Uh, very cool. Let's try the Sega Genesis controller out. I wonder if it'll just let me use it without being a player number two. Or Oh, well. Alright, guys. <laughs> I guess you can't make this up on Bootleg Central, but I went to go plug it in. And as I pushed it in, it just broke through. Uh, the quality not on par with, you know, let's say your official Nintendo hardware. So I guess we're out of luck on the Sega Genesis controller. I'm going to assume it works. That's upsetting. I'm going to have to open this up, feed that back through, and I guess like glue it to get that to work. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but like I went to go push that through and, oh. Uh, it didn't appreciate that. Uh, so it looks like we're back to this controller. Let's try a few more games before we call this thing. I love the intro. Like, I got a feeling like it's just like a shitty make of this. And they were like, you know what? Just keep it. That's an excellent intro. There's just, just a lot of pizzazz to it, you know? Uh, Stargate, H.J. And a lot of this I don't know about. Millipede, Super Dynamics, Wild Gunman, Arabian something, Elevator, Brush Roll... What is golf? Golf EER has got to be just standard golf. Yes, there we go. Which is excellent. I actually got a lot of nostalgia to this game because this is an NES game that just me and my brother would constantly play. Believe it or not, that's Mario's big ass with his side titty right there. A lot of people don't realize that. A uh, very fun game, actually. Like, it's. A lot of people don't realize, but these courses, um, the, you know, Nintendo Wii Sports, the, you know, the, the, the packing game. Those courses on that game, a lot of them were based off these courses. So, like, if you look at this one, this is the first course here. This is actually the first course on that game as well. And then you'll see that there are other courses, you know, that are direct to the Nintendo Wii Sports, which is a very awesome nod to it. Uh, let's see how it plays. Oh, shit. Don't bunker. All right, it plays well. I do not. Oh, you can't make that up. That said butker. I don't know. Maybe this is like a German port or something, uh, or, or I have no idea. I don't know why it could say Butker. And that, instead of saying the wind, it says W-I-T-D. Oh, wait a second. Now, maybe that's how they're getting away with copyright shit. Look at this. Instead of stroke play, it says stroke play. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Uh, let's get out of this bunker and see if we can see anything else. Uh, that's just interesting. I didn't even, I'm glad I caught that. And see, what I love about this game is it doesn't baby you. you got to select your own club, and you got to kind of get familiar with how long the clubs give you. It doesn't give you an estimation where it lands. Uh, it's awesome. I think this is a six iron situation. Let's see. Ah, I didn't use my full power. That's not terrible. That is funny. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. Let's see if we can get on this green right here. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it. Put it right on there. Like, do I have that option? PT, where are you at? Guess I don't. Huh. Thought I did. Oh, wait, here we go. Ooh, damn, that's close. And then, see, I loved about this game is the slope is dignified by the triangle, so the slope would be going down if that's the case. There we go. Bogey, so they spelled that right. All right, let's try a few more games. That's Oh, look at this. It's like glitching more. I don't know if y'all saw that. That's excellent. It's like breaking as it's, as as we're playing it. That's that's a good sign. Oh, uh, let's, let's try us another game here. Balloon Fight. That's an excellent game. Door Door. Uh, Slalom, Speed Tank, Bomberman. Uh, I actually got rid of my Bomberman 2 for the NES. I'm a little sad about it, but you know what? It's... It's a heavy hitter that I just I wasn't attached to. Uh, let's see here. And now it's starting to repeat. Donkey Kong 2. What is that? It's gonna be like the little the, the, the climbing version. What is this? Yeah, that's what it is. Yep. All right. 
That actually is Donkey Kong Jr. here. All right, enough of that. Let's finish this with one. Look at look at the glitches. Excellent. Let's finish this with one more game and then call it quits. Uh, what are we gonna finish with here? Obviously, I never have time to go through all these games. Um, Toy Story. There we go. I have. I do not remember a Toy Story being on the NES. Uh, this is already off to the start of excellence. Let's see here. This is entitled Toy Story. All right, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Whatever it is, that elephant's checking me out, and I just fell. That was awesome. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. I'm sure people are going to hate me for not knowing whatever this is, but that's just, that's stupid. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or how this is associated with Toy Story after it's called. Oh, shit. What? All right, enough of that. I can't finish it with that. Look, there's letters and whatnot popping up. It's like trying to form something. Like, maybe it's like a message or something. Like, I've been chosen or something. Like, what is that, like the cicadas or some shit? Like, I was chosen to play this game? If I can calculate the message, like... There's Duck Hunt, there it is. Sight Bike Formation Painter SPX. Alright, we'll finish it with that. Well, never mind. Uh, that, there it is. Alright, I, I don't know what happened. I pressed a button and it just went sideways. Oh my fuck. Uh, Alright. Um... <laughs> All right, here we go. We're doing so okay. Uh, oh my God! I there's a lot of movement. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't even know if I'm controlling anything. Maybe I am. I'm sure people are gonna be like, dude, that game is is extremely common. Uh, a Famicom game. I have no idea what this shit. It's if it's not on NES, I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm controlling. I don't know what this little appendage going into this mouse-shaped object is up here. It's freaking me out a bit. I'm done with this unit. We're gonna we're gonna reset it. Look at oh god almighty! Look, it gets worse. Makes me want to keep resetting it and see what happens. You know, like nothing. Oh, that's crazy. All right, that's enough of that. All right, so what we're gonna talk about? The unit plays ROMs pretty well, actually. The ROMs are not bad. Uh, they're not sped up. They're not shitty. The, the downside to it is that in each one of these games, there are lines, vertical lines all over the place. It is noticeable. It's kind of like, um, kind of like using a SNES mini. Um, the buttons are God awful. It's not backwards. It's just upside down. The joystick is just for show, which is completely ironic considering the son of a bitch is called the super joystick and to have this thing not even be anything, uh, is just all the more funny. Also it takes a DC plug-in, very cool since you don't have to use batteries. Another downside is this thing was so shitty like it broke through, but maybe maybe I pushed too hard. I don't know. I shouldn't have been that way. Um, I don't know. Look at this thing. There, there's even like a, a spot where something was like originally there and maybe they changed their mind mid-production or something. Reset button. This thing is okay. Um, I really, really enjoyed that gun. That gun is absolutely phenomenal. I really wish NES would have ballsed up and got something like this, but hell, they had to get rid of the gray zapper because they were under the impression it looked too much like a gun. Uh, this thing, obviously, uh, is bad to the bone. If little Timmy came at me at eight years old with this thing, I'd surely boot his ass in the face, but not before admiring his gun. Um, other than that, guys, that is it for this bootleg right here. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be another cool one for the collection. Replayability, down the drain, though. Too damn... Too much to set up with all the cords and difficult, but to show someone this gun, I would have to do it. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.